I don't have a jacket with that many awesome pins on it or patches. So I'm gonna mix it the fuck up. First of all, for my my favorite jacket, I got this online somewhere. And I wear this almost every day, especially when I work at the art the contemporary art center. And it makes me look like a skeleton. It's got bones everywhere. And um I was wearing this once at the uh like our local amusement park has a like Halloween thing every year and I was wearing this and I had it zipped up and I just had my hands in my pockets. So I was waiting for somebody to get out of the bathroom, just kinda standing there. And I forgot I was wearing it and this guy walks past and goes, I think you need to eat more. And I forgot I was wearing this jacket and I gave him the dirtiest look ever. I've always been kind of self-conscious about my weight or lack thereof, really. And I gave him the dirtiest look, and then I looked down and I was like, fuck. I was like, good one. That is a good joke, sir. Yes. Um, but since I don't have a jacket with patches on it, I have a hat that is kind of my fallback hat. Um, I just throw it on if I don't feel like doing shit with my hair. I have pins and patches all over this thing. You've probably seen me wearing it in a couple videos. First off is the Queers patch. That was the first time I saw the Queers. Um, then I have a pin from BME Zine. It's the online body modification site. Uh, Streetlight Manifesto, of course. Another Queers patch from the same show. I got Minus the Bear. Not punk at all, but I love Minus the Bear. Real Big Fish. Um, this I found on the floor at the mall. This is my Canada patch that I got for Christmas from my boyfriend's um, family. And then this one is the... Oops. The, uh medicine wheel for the Lakota I think well I was taking my first anthropology course ever the first course that ever got me interested in anthropology and this teacher um, was talking about how we should have a woman president and not that I completely agree with the fact but I happen to have a pin that somebody gave me in high school that said um, a woman for president, and so I gave it to him, and then he gave that one to me, and I thought that was pretty awesome. Uh, shoes, on the other hand, much easier. Okay, I've got two pairs. This is the first pair. I've had these since I was 17, so that's like six years or something like that, and this was the first pair of shoes that I ever bought on my own kind of a big deal. I wore them every day to school, and I went to Catholic school, so we got very little um, ways to be unique. So it was really shoes or belts, just accessory kinds of things, and this was like, I don't know, I think I, I'm pretty sure I was one of the first people who started wearing chucks at my high school. That's kind of sad, but they're like, oh, they're totally beat up by now. They're like cracked and worn in, and there's like, there's like grooves in here, like where my toe hits, where my big toe hits, there's like a groove that's completely worn down, like to the rubber sole. But I love these shoes. I don't wear them as much as I used to, just because I really don't want them to fall apart, but, and then... These are actually my favorite shoes. I just got these um, last week. Military surplus. All right, thirty bucks. They're standard issue combat boots. They stopped issuing these type in like the year two thousand. Um, I always wanted a pair of combat boots, and I could never find any in my size. And uh, I just happened to go there, and I got lucky that they had some a pair of my size and they're really comfortable 
The only problem is they're obviously for walking and not for standing. Standing around kind of hurts. But I don't know, any more like, I know it's a, kind of a cliche punk thing to have, but honestly, when I wear them I think of my dad. He is a uh, retired army, um, so I don't know, they just, they make me think of my dad and he sent me a text message because I was telling him I got a, a pair of combat boots and he said something like, uh, always wear your combat boots for protection love dad, and I, uh, so, I don't know, I just think of my dad when I wear these, and they really do, it sounds really dumb, but they, I don't know, they make me feel more protected, in a way. So, I got them for the punk cliche, but I got a lot more when they paid $30. Um, I do have a jacket that one of these days I'm gonna attack the fuck out, and I have a bunch of patches, too, that I've collected for years but I just need to find somebody who can sew them on for me because I... Oh, fuck, that reminds me. Hang on just a second. This has nothing to do with, like, favorites or anything, but I'm really proud of this. Okay, so I got a, uh... <laughs> I got a Cub Scout shirt at, like, Goodwill or something. And, or Boy Scout, whatever. And it had, you know, like all these typical patches on it, all the ones on the sleeves and your basic ones. Well, I found my brownie sash because I never actually made it to Girl Scout. I stopped a brownie. But I found I found all my um my old like merit badges and I sewed them all on here. And I did this all by hand and it took a really fucking long time. So I'm not I'm not gonna go through that again with another jacket. Like I, I just need to learn to use a sewing machine, pretty much. So I'm I'm pretty proud of this. I eventually want to like sew a bunch of shit on the back too, because there's plenty of room back there. But that's that's pretty much it.